Hey everybody, just got back from Rancho Bernardo out by San Diego, California. We're at the Cairo Congress event. So myself and Brandy Hunter, who's our office manager, also doctor support for Move Now, she went out and I went out with my wife and my kiddo as well. And anyway, in the process of going out there, good morning Brandy, she's on here now watching us. So in the process of going out there, Brandy and I were asked the same question over and over and over and over and over again. People would walk up, they'd said, what do you do? Um, first off, just to give you a little backstory of what the Cairo Congress event is, is this is a annual convention where all the state representatives for, for, I mean, I think this year there was 35 states that came out. I don't know if they normally have all 50 at one convention or why there was only 35, or maybe I heard wrong there was more than 35, but either way, it's, it's supposed to be everyone representing all of the states. They come to one place. They're the decision makers who are lining up who is going to be coming out for their annual conventions or for other ancillary talks or presentations, just something to bring to their chiropractic association to help out their doctors in their state. And it's a place where they are talking and making decisions and all kinds of stuff. So there's vendors that show up. Well, Move Now, we sponsored a party that was hosted at Dr. Miles Bodson from Cash Practice, his house. He hosted a party for 275 people. So it's a pretty amazing estate that he has in Rancho Bernardo. And we sponsored that. We were also sponsors of Cairo Congress. So we had a booth at Cairo Congress. We were set up right next to Cash Practice and Cairo Health USA two groups that we use in our practice and we promote wholeheartedly because we use them and they're great, great people and they have great products. And anyway, in the process of being there, this is our first time doing this sort of like trade show type of thing. And people would come up and they'd say, so what do you do? And so we have this big pop-up behind us that says, we help, or it says, we, we teach chiropractors how to integrate their practice with functional movement in 90 days. That's what it says up on the thing. So people would ask us, what do you do? And I'd say, well, first off, just like it says up on there, that's what we do. We help, we help chiropractors integrate their practice with functional movement in 90 days. But what that means is that this is not just another clinical end of how to measure and how to assign exercises. We do that, but that's actually a small percentage of what we do. What this really is, is everything else that we haven't found anyone else teaching out there ever because the way the story goes is that myself, I still practice full time. And years ago, I came to the epiphany that in order to really get the best outcomes with my own patients and to fix them, I had to be addressing functional movement patterns, meaning they come in, they blow out their low back, we can adjust their low back and do whatever therapies and whatever else we do, depending on what kind of practice we're in until the cows come home. But if they walked out and picked up their child or bent over to tie their shoe and did it the wrong way, then the wheels fell off and they were right back to square one again. And then they're the patient coming in going, doc, I don't know why this is happening, but it's obvious why it's happening. They don't know how to move properly. No one ever measured it. No one ever taught them how to do it. No one ever inspired them to understand the importance of knowing how to do it to actually get them to follow through and then do it on a daily basis. So like literally change the way they're moving and change the way that they're living forever. So when I came to the epiphany that that's what I needed to do and Mind you, side note, I'm kind of explaining it like this to people when they walk up to me too. I'm telling them this story because it's true and it's relevant and I think it helps them as a chiropractor because most of them were chiropractors or uh, some kind of representative of chiropractors. It helps them immediately see, okay, this is relevant because side note, it's not just another type of like rehab therapy to try to make more money in practice. That's a side effect, but that's not what we lead with. What we lead with is this completes the model of chiropractic. This makes, this makes you a better chiropractor. You get better outcomes with your patients. You actually give your patients what they need, what they're looking for, even if they don't know that, that this is what they're looking for. This is what they're looking for because they want to fix the problem. They don't want to just band-aid it. And so to truly fix the problem, you have to be measuring movement and, 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 and then correcting movement and then get your patients to the point where they start to build strength on top of that and they start to have some sort of exercise routine, whether it's two, three days a week or several days a week that reinforces these healthy patterns for a lifetime so they can live to their you know, 80, 90, 100 years old and be functional and not be decrepit and hyperkyphotic and breaking down like so many people progress in age in our society, which is preventable in like 99% of the cases. 
So anyway, with that said, I'm going to turn my car off actually. I started my car here in the parking lot and I'm going to turn off now. So anyway, with that said, and I was a little caveat, I don't get into all of this when I'm talking to a person face, face to face unless it goes that direction. But basically, back to talking about, so what we do is we teach how to measure exercise and then, and then prescribe corrective strategies to fix, to f- or, sorry, how to measure movement and then prescribe corrective strategies to fix abnormal or dysfunctional movement. But that's just a small piece of it. The bigger piece was how do you actually implement this into a chiropractic practice? Because when I was looking to do this in my own practice, I realized it didn't exist. There was no group out there that special tailored this for chiropractors as far as how to speak the language, how to integrate it into a chiropractic model without having to give up what we do as chiropractors. This is something that I think resonates with the type of chiropractor who's way more rehab-minded on one end, but also the chiropractor who's totally, I just want to check patients and adjust their spine and that's it minded, but I know that people need this. So it really speaks to both groups. So it isn't like this is only for the like sports chiropractor or this is only for a super straight chiropractor. This is for any chiropractor that wants to put an exercise department into their clinic and it could be a fully functioning department that you have staff that runs it and the doctor helps oversee it. But if the doctor doesn't want to be all that involved in it, like jumping in and actually going through stuff with patients and they just want to be adjusting, then this is how it's set up because truth be told, that's how I do it in my practice for the most part. So what the program is, is teaching all the patient engagement, the the staff training, the communication with the patient. We design a model that we talk about called segment posture movement, where we address all three of those parameters, how they all come together. This also, as a very nice side effect, is a, is, is a great way to help chiropractors get into businesses and get into various community events and things that maybe would normally have their doors closed to a chiropractor because you go in talking about we are movement experts. We help people move better and get them healthier. And how do we do that? Well, we measure and correct movement. We look at posture and then we look at segment. So it's basically starting with movement working their way backwards to chiropractic. So depending on the conversations that we had, those were some of the talking points that we talked about. And I felt like it really helped us hone in on our message of what we do. It's like Move Now University is not just, we're going to teach you how to do functional movement. It's how do you do that in a chiropractic practice and how do you make it work? And then the other pieces that I didn't mention this, how do you bill for it? How do you make it compliant? How do you document it? How do you make it profitable? How do you make this so this is 35 to 40, 45% of the actual income into your practice just coming from that department? It's kind of like having a associate chiropractor who's really, really successful right out the bat who you don't have to worry about getting burned out. That's what it is. It's putting a department in place that's kind of like a successful associate chiropractor. But instead of it being a chiropractor, it's made up of highly trained staff that you train with our program and you oversee it. So that's what this is. And anyway, it was it was really great to talk to all these state representatives because it was extremely well received. I would say 90% of the people we talked to were like, yep, this is what we need. This is what doctors need. I feel like if if... It, you know, this is the future of where chiropractic's going. And so many of these representatives were on board with it. So Brandy and I, Brandy again is our office manager for our clinic. So she's in the trenches as well, but she's also doctor support for Move Now. So she helps, she helps other teams get up and going, talks with their office managers and building departments and whatnot. And her and I could be traveling for 2020 and we're going to be going all over the country and we're going to be speaking at chiropractic associations, not, not going just to have a booth, but actually going to teach. So having, I would say, a four-hour minimum block up to maybe an eight-hour full full day of teaching. And I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. That's what 2020 and 2021 really we have we have set up. So that's one of our main focuses. And then another side note too, depending on who our audience is watching this right now or listening to this on a podcast, we're also going to be branching out to the schools and helping answer a lot of questions for students that are trying to get stuff figured out of what are you going to do when you get into practice. And I feel like taking the information that, that, that we've put together for practicing chiropractors, 
is some of the best gold that you could possibly be exposed to as a student that would save you so much time and heartache and mistakes and lots of gray hair um, trying to figure this out on your own because we have gone through all of that. We have figured it out. I've been practicing now almost 17 years um, over here in my third clinic and uh, we figured a few things out. I'll just tell you that. So anyway, if this was helpful for you, share this with another fellow chiropractor, please. Check out our demo, which is also in the link that I put in the description. It's demo.movenowu, like university.com. So demo.movenow, the letter U, dot com. It's a 30-minute pre-recorded demo that we made that shows inside of how our doctor training portal and staff training portal actually looks like. So you can get a pretty good idea of how that looks. And it'll answer a lot of questions for you. And then after that, when you're saying, okay, tell me more, then you jump on a phone call with us and we can ask you some questions and figure out what way to implement and launch this makes the most sense depending on where you're at in practice and what your current practice style looks like. So anyway, with that said, I'm Dr. Todd from Move Now, Move Now University. And reach out, watch the demo, comment, share. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon.